It's a sad day at Target. This is the Hot Wheels section at my local Target. Hope you all have a little better selection than what we got here. I got a bunch of five packs. Not really interested in any of those. They did get some new monster trucks, but of course no treasure hunts. There are some new ones. Nothing real spectacular. And then they did get some new green light monster trucks, but this would be the chase and it is not the target chase. So we will leave them behind. Just kind of wanted to show you all what was at the local target. There's an empty drink interested in that or some trash. Have a great day. Until next time, this has been Live or Diecast, and I'm out. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Live or Diecast. We're on our way into the local disappointment, the Walmart. I'm actually up here uh, meeting another local collector, and we're going to do a trade. I'm going to get that new ID chase car, so stay tuned. Stay with me. I'm going to go in here real quick and just kind of poke around and see if they got anything cool. Alright, welcome back. Liver die cast back at it. We're in the toy section. Look at this. This is the same dump bin. It's been here for about six months. It's full of Legos and trash and monster trucks and premiums and empty packages and who knows what is this? Anybody want one of these? That's not a Hot Wheels. And then let me see. The bottom is falling out of this thing so it's gonna end up falling over on some kid all right let's go see if they got anything cool so far it's looking like the same old same Chevelle of course the skyline is nowhere to be seen that's usually the one that's missing everyone is after that one Hello Kitty. No new monster trucks. I think the Roger Dodger, I'm, I haven't even seen the new set of monster trucks come out with the Roger Dodger treasure hunt. So the next one is the snake bite monster truck. And who knows, we may miss that mix too. So it's been kind of rough and spotty around here. It's pretty cool. Hmm. Now these right here are good for racing because they have nickel plated axles and the nickel plated keeps them from getting corroded and rusted when they get wet in the water to change colors. So interesting fact, if you're racing Hot Wheels, <clears throat> these are basically the same axles as the faster than ever. The faster, the only thing that makes the faster than ever wheels and axles faster than ever is they're nickel plated. And you know, nickel plated versus stainless, there's less resistance. And we all know that speed e or less resistance equals more speed. And in racing, that's what you're after. So there's a little quick tip for you. Yeah, it doesn't look like they have anything new here, nothing to brag about. Just wanted to touch base. There hasn't been any new Hot Wheels here for four or five months. So I'm thinking any time, any time they should be getting some new ones. So I'll keep checking back and maybe get lucky I want to thank each and every one of you for watching my channel this has been live or diecast until next time i'm out all right i am sitting at the walmart outside waiting for the local collector to brought my sterling case there it is highly recommend these protector case and then my trade so today I am trading this 70 Chevelle. It's got Spectra Flame paint, number eight of 25. Hot Wheels Classics. Hear that music in the background? That's actually a dude push, he's pushing his baby in a stroller and they are jamming. But anyways, this is what I'm trading for the new HID chase car, the Charger. And I have a couple of these. And I wanted to offer one of them up. The blue is pretty. I've actually got a red one too. And the red one is beautiful. But limited edition. <laughs> I picked this up at a flea market. 
and was able to work out a trade for the ID Chase. And the ID Chase is actually the last one I need to be caught up. So I have every single ID Chase car that's been released once I get this charger. So I'm pretty stoked about that. So just wanted to show you all what I'm going to be trading for it. And I will be back when I get it in my hands. Stay tuned. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the bench. There she is. The newest member of the family. There's the Charger ID Chase 2021 in case. Right at home with all the others. Up to date, I have every Chase ID car that has been released up to the Charger. I know there will be more. I don't have those yet. Haven't seen anything newer than the in case around here. So just wanted to show you all that I did make the trade. He was happy with the Chevelle. I was happy with the Charger and all is well. Really, really thankful to be meeting collectors around me that I can do some trading and communicating, talking with. The diecast community is the best. Thanks for watching, everybody. Get out there and go hunting. Find some cool stuff. This has been Live or Diecast, and I'm out.